Hi guys, Squirrel here, and uh, my train simulator video was pretty popular. Uh, it seemed to hit a note with a few of you guys, so I thought I'd give it another bash. I've actually gone ahead and bought, spent money. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did, and um, I saw something that I really had to have, uh, which is probably the way with this game, isn't it? It probably this is how they get you. This is how they <laughs> get you to spend loads of money. Anyway, we're going to drive, and then we go into standard. Standard lets you just basically do things, the same stuff that you do in career mode, but you can screw it up, basically, so <laughs> there's no penalty, it's not keeping score, and uh, that's pretty much what I need right now, I don't quite feel ready to tackle career mode, even though I thought I would, I think I'm going to practice a bit more first. Anyway, so this is what I bought, where is he gone? Down here somewhere, East Coast Mainland, there we go, G-E-M-L London Ipswich, basically... This is a this is a route and train. Uh, you can see this is the class 360 EMU. This is the train that we'll be driving today, and this train line goes between London Liverpool Street and Ipswich. Essentially, this is the train that I got. Th seriously, this is the train that I got every working day, pretty much for about 12 years. So you can imagine that I know this this train and this route pretty well. Not as a driver, of course, as a passenger. But I know the route very well. Although, I don't know it all the way out to Ipswich. I only know it to Chelmsford because that's where I live. So before we do this route, because you can see that we've got a number of scenarios we can do. Uh, you've got your basics uh, just to get used to the 360, which I had a quick go of. The heading out, so I'm kind of used to it a bit enough. Uh, but you can choose different routes, and I thought what we'd do today would be the, um, the brain tree branch, the drive an eight car stop and train from Ipswich to London Liverpool Street, or we could do the slightly more difficult one of in charge of a, hmm, now I'm in two minds, do I just take a straight up eight car stopper from Ipswich, or do I go from Colchester? You're in charge of one such service today where you will take four car class 360 from colchester town as far as colchester before coupling up to another unit to form an eight car service this is this is something they do quite commonly on my line because at very off peak hours there'll only be four car trains um but at the more peak hours there'll be an eight car or even a 12 car train is is what they run at the very peak hours um, but it's not uncommon for these four and eight car things to switch up but before let's do that one that sounds more challenging before we begin this, I want to show you roughly which part of the world we're going to be in. So, just to give you a grounding, if we have a look at Google Maps. Now, obviously, if I zoom out, you people who don't know the UK at all, I'm sure you know where the UK is. This is the UK. <laughs> Here is London. I'm sure most people are familiar with that. And if I just stop here, here's London. And this is Chelmsford. This is where I, I live. This is where I would commute in every day i don't do it i don't do it now thankfully uh but this is colchester up here so you can see i've never done that train branch before i've normally gone liverpool to london liverpool street to chelmsford if we zoom in on london you will see as we get further in there is london liverpool street right there if we zoom in a bit more it actually shows you the station in google maps quite cool uh this is what it looks like it's about 12 platforms i think in total and uh, I would generally come in on platforms 6 to 10, which are these bits here. These ones are more reserved for the another branch that goes out towards Harlow. Anyway, so the train comes out of here. From, it's actually underground, this bit. And you can see it breaking out here. Uh, at this point, you'll see the wall sections, which we'll go through. Hopefully, if it's that detail. Uh, the line actually then goes out, if I just follow it briefly, to Stratford. I'm pretty certain we'll make a, st a stop at Stratford. Almost m all trains do. Very few skim through Stratford, it's an international station now. Uh, so this this actually goes off to the Channel Tunnel, and this is where the Olympic Park was, London 2012 Olympics. Right here, so we should pass that area. It'd be interesting to see what that looks like. I'm hoping we'll make a stop. And then the train basically goes out, um, usually Miss Romford. Brentwood is often skipped in favour of Shenfield, which I'm not seeing at the moment. There's Shenfield. Shenfield, surprisingly, is a major stop. And then it hits Chelmsford, which is here, which is my hometown. Now, if this thing is accurate, and I think it might be because I saw a screenshot, but essentially when you when the train comes in through this bit, the, 
Chelmsworth platform is actually elevated and it's you have to go up to it and there's a bridge that goes over Parkway here and it goes through this park and it's all like arch bridging it's very scenic very nice so I'm hoping we'll get to see that and then obviously this bit I don't know which then goes off to Colchester however we'll be coming in from Colchester Colchester Town will be taking a train there, making it an eight car, and then taking it into London Liverpool Street. We almost definitely will stop at Chelmsford. It would be insane if we didn't. Uh, but it does say it's it's an international. Is it an international? I don't know. Let's get on with it anyway. Let's, let's see what happens. Right. Oh wow, eight fifty-seven a.m. And uh, it's snowing. Holy cow! It's snowing. Is it going to give me a task list? Let's press F1. Pick up passengers from Colchester Town, 8.57 departure. Oh, God. I need to go there quickly. Are we there now? Oh, hang on. We're here, aren't we? Do I need to open my door so you guys can get on then? When you've finished glitching into the ground. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, good grief. Oh, this game. That's brilliant. God alone knows what it's going to be like at Chelmsford. Uh, what does it say? Depart eight, f arrive eight fifty seven. Depart eight fifty eight. Okay, so we're supposed to depart eight fifty eight. That's fine. Stop at Colchester platform three. Are these guys not cold? They should have coats on and stuff. But I guess when you can walk through concrete and brick, you probably don't. They're gliding. Oh, this game. Are you serious? How long has this game been out? And they're still not. Sod it. We're closing the doors. We're closing the doors. Time to depart. That beeping is 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 accurate. It actually sounds like that, funnily enough. Right, let's accelerate to P1. Brakes are releasing, I can see, so it should start to move. Come on, please move. Oh, what a derp. I didn't put it in forward. That's the alarm. Clear that. That's apparently not uncommon. Come on. We appear to be having some difficulties moving. We're going to be late already. Come on. What are, what are we waiting for? Right, I'm going to put it in forward. Oh, the, pen, the panther thing's not on. What the hell? Do you see this here? The... Um, there we go, now we've got power. It's the thing that connects to the electric. It was disengaged. I didn't expect that. Oh dear. We're so late. Brake release. Brake release? Can we have some brake release? We've got five bars of brake pressure. And we need to not have five bars of brake pressure. How do I get the brakes off? Come on. We need to go. We need to go. That's better. Oh my god. Right. Are we going? Are we going? We're going! Hooray! We're only two minutes late. We'll be fine. I'll just do some speeding, maybe. It looks like I had to put... Because this, this uh, particular class of train... Uh, there's no separate braking mechanism here. It's just... It's all either forward or if you go backwards it brakes. What seemed to happen then was because the panzer whatever dude, pantograph, pantograph wasn't engaged on the power line. Um, it, it, it basically, when I started to move forward, the alarms went off and it just engaged emergency brakes. And I had to pull it all the way back to reset the emergency brake. That's what seemed to happen. I'm, I'm conscious of my speed. Uh, the pantograph is that thing, in case you don't know. That's the bit that connects up. That's retractable. Apparently I'm speeding already. This is why I'm not doing career mode. Because I'd get, I'd lose a million. I'd end up with a score of minus a thousand, I think. Let's step my head out the window and have a look. Now, if you just happen to be from Colchester, actually these houses are reasonably accurate for the area. Certainly, Braintree has has that kind of housing. So I don't know if if Colchester's like that, but if you do happen to know, please let me know. Right, it's thirty thirty man hour speed limit. Let's get it on. Although it is about to drop to 15, annoyingly. And then go up to 45. And I'm late. What's the task list night? Right. Stop at Colchester. I need to kill some speed, I think. 
Message from Control is awaiting you from Platform 4, but has developed an issue with the rear coupling mechanism. You are now required to enter Platform 3 before reversing onto the unit and coupling from the front. <laughs> well, don't make it easy, will you? Okay. Platform 3. Uh, I need to get an overhead view. That's number 7, is it? Or is it 9? 9. Whoops. Where am I? Where am I? This is this is nine. This is what happens when you go for the overhead view. And I can't find myself, which is always a problem. Oh crap! Never mind. It's the. Uh... Okay, while I was in the, I had to clear the alarm now. <laughs> just... So now we're gonna pull the brake all the way back to reset it. I think. Now we can release. So I think while I was in that screen, I went through a AWS signal, which is the automatic warning system, I think is what it stands for. And uh, if you don't clear it down when you go through, as you can see the signals here are yellow. If you don't clear it down, then it it's, turns on the emergency brakes and stops the train, and that's what happened while I was trying to find myself in the map screen, which is terrible timing. I think I'm supposed to stop here. I'm like the worst train driver ever. Give me a truck. I could drive... Speaking of trucks... That looks like a Volvo, vaguely. Awesome. We've got trucks in this thing. They look very static. Colchester, Platform 3, 1.7 miles. Okay, well, we're getting there. So we're going to have to couple this thing... I'm scared of looking in the map screen now, in case I get screwed. How do we reverse onto platform 3? That's the question. That's not my train, that's a fast train. Look at that, that's cool. That actually shows other trains. Where am I? Is this me? I'm down here. No wonder I couldn't find myself. Oh, I was thinking we're near Col- Right, this is Colchester Town, okay. And then we're going to go over to here, platform 3. Okay, we're miles away. In that case, let's do it. We've got a 45 mile hour speed limit. This is going to be the latest journey you've ever known. <laughs> but this is why we're practicing. Because, you know, I need to get used to this game before I can do it for real, I think. <clears throat> I consider this not for real, by the way. New train not exactly skilled in the game still getting used to the advanced controls I'll be honest with you I like the way the train line banked when you see that but yeah the this is actually it was um, it's been a few things actually but it's now owned by Great uh, Great Eastern I think it is so the paint scheme changes depending on who runs the line I'm going to slow down because I can see a 35 coming up and I'm actually going to be under the speed limit for once. So I'm guessing it's winter, basically, and all the lights are on. Uh, press Q to clear that. That was the AWS thing. Here we go, platform three. So I'm meant to stop here. And then, I think we pick up speed now. Accelerating up to a 45. So we're meant to stop here, then I'm assuming we're going to reverse. Probably, we may have to switch the signals before we do that. I should be making up time. I shouldn't be dawdling. Come on. That on the floor, you see it? Now we'll get a beep when we go over this. Okay, we won't get a beep when we go over that. Normally do, and then this illuminates, it's the AWS, and then we have to reset it. Because if you don't... It's emergency break and there's nothing you can do. But that's normally the thing. Why is it not beeping me? There you go. And then we press Q. or do that. That's another way of doing it. 30 miles an hour. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. I love the fact there's other trains. Like this. And the fact that when you press 9, you can actually see them on the line. It's just... Look at that. Look. It's super cool. You almost feel like you're in a real train set. 
Now I'm assuming everything's been switched correctly because it's not told me to switch everything. Which is what you do when you're in nine. You can operate the manual switching, but I don't see. I don't see, normally on the when you do the freight stuff, you've got to go into that screen and then you basically make sure that the signal, the switches are set correctly so that the train goes down the right track so that it gets to the right platform. Hello. Should we do it the horn? <laughs> Uh, we're about to stop shortly, um, but on this it looks like I don't need to operate the signalling, so I'm guessing this is platform three. Better slow down, I think. So this might be the reversing point, so when we get here, it may switch the signal and we'll reverse up and pick up the other four cars. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I don't know if I'm meant to pick up passengers or not. I don't think I'm meant to open my door. Stick my head out the window and say hi. Hello! Wow. She's a bit lanky, to say the least. Um, Can we just stop anywhere here, I assume? What's the back of the train look like? Yeah, the back looks fine. Let's stop here. Um, stop at P3. It says I'm 446 feet away. Does that mean... It wants me to go forward a bit. Should I open my doors? I don't think we should. Okay. Change ends and confirm to the signalman, control tab, you are ready to shunt into platform four. Okay. Let's shut my doors. Because that was a mistake, obviously. Shut my doors. Okay, we're not going to shut doors. Um, control equals should. I want my doors to shut. Why is my passage? Oh, it's not open. Control equals takes us to the other end. There we go. So now we're at the other end of the train. Driving from the... Well, we should have been. There we go. So we should be in here now. And then control tab. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is the worst key combination ever. I've got control tab mapped, mapped to steam overlay. Oh, no. How do I signal the signalman? There surely must be another way of doing this. That. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out a second. Control tab. Settings. In game, enable steam overlay. Let's do control shift tab. Right. Control tab. There we go. Request to pass signal at danger approved. <gasps> Alright, so we're going to go this way. And Q to clear the alarm. That's. An automatic alarm that comes on when you kind of start. Which, is considering I've started because I've got into the other end of the train, basically, I think. So, there we go. Now, if we do a 9 this time, we should be able to see that we're going to go down this branch. So, the signalman has set it correctly. And I assume this is the four carriages we're going to pick up right here. So, this is cool. You'll get to see the, the um, how you hook the train up as well. Chances of getting to uh, pick up passengers at Colchester Platform 4 at 9.08. It's 9.10. It's nine what all I can say is I hope they've got a bit of patience. Okay, there's the carriages. I don't want to smash into them. I don't know if it's going to automatically hook up or not. But... Press Q to clear that alarm. We just went over an AWS, which is a bit weird to have in the platform, I think. I think we're just going to roll in. But if you click on this down here, bottom left, you see? The little wrenchy icons, the connectors. When we get to touch this one, we should see... This is obviously the train. And the two cars, and then the other train at the other end. I'm going to press 7, is it? No. Yes, yeah, 7. No, 5. 6. 
Bugger. Okay, that happened. <laughs> that happened while I was looking at the wrong camera. Uh, complete connection. Did we do that? I think that's been done. So, uh, control equals. Now, which end am I at now? The. Is that the right end? Pick up passengers from Colchester Platform 4. This feels like the wrong end. That's the right end. Okay, let's do this. And just hope that it's got Platform 4 set correctly. I think I have to reset this. There we go. Oh, the mechanics of this. Do train drivers have to do this? Good grief. How do we get to Platform 4? We're on Platform 4. I see. It all becomes clear. I'm on Platform 4. I just needed to open my doors. <laughs> right, so the task this is, we should have left. Arrive 908, depart 912. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We're only like going to be a minute late if these dudes get on the train. Is anybody actually getting on the train, by the way? It doesn't look like anybody's getting on the train. Which is surprising because it is bloody cold outside and I thought they'd be running to get on my train. Your next calling point is Mark's Tay. Come on, doors. They really sound like that. That's so cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's reset the brake because it's being weird again. So it looks like yeah, you have to pull the handle back and then push it forward is, is what I'm getting from this. Which doesn't really come with the manual. Not the brakes haven't released again. This is a very temperamental train. Reset, forward, accelerate. Come on, let's do it. I was a minute late, I'm now nearly two. It's not resetting properly. Seriously, train, what the hell? No, the pantograph again! What a fail bot! Are you kidding me? Oh! Right. I'm beginning to get the hang of this, the mechanics of this thing. It resets the pantograph because we coupled up with four others. It, it makes sense now, it really does. But because I hooked up with another four, the, they, that's got a pantograph on it too, so... Yeah, it, it all makes sense now. I get it. Okay. Look, I'm learning on the spot, guys, so don't be harsh with this one. This is cool. There's another train going past. We're on the move. We are a couple of minutes late, according to the tasks. We're speeding, and we shouldn't be. Yeah. Uh, we should have departed 9.012. We departed 9.14. We've got to get there for 9.17. I can see a 100 mile an hour speed limit coming up, which pleases me greatly. Q to... Was that the alarm, I think? Yep. Yeah. That was the AWS kicking in. Right. Now we should be able to get on with some scenery. Where are we going, by the way? Let's have a look at the list. Kelverdon. Hatfield, Peveril, Chelmsford. Yay! Yeah, this is, this is a common set of stops on my line. Right, let's pick up speed. Liverpool Street at 10.12, apparently. Shenfield and Stratford, I knew we'd stop there. So Stratford will be able to see if they've got the Olympic Stadium. Shenfield, I'll recognise it's like a about four platforms, Shenfield. Shenfield is a bit like Chelmsford in that the, the platform is up or elevated away from the road and the town itself. So it's actually on a bridge. Press Q to reset that. So we've got 4.5 miles... Supposed to pick up at 9.17, ETA 9.20. That's that's not good. That's not good, is it, really? But we've had a few uh, issues. I didn't have an assistant driver. See, because I'm a complete noob, I should have had a driver tell me what to do. I've had to figure it all out myself. It's like they threw me in the, threw me in the front of a train and just went, there you go, off you go. You, you need to be here by 9.20 and hook up some, some other stuff. Pantographs, don't worry about them. You'll figure it out. Press Q to reset. Wow, this thing picks up speed fairly quickly. 
Interestingly enough, right? Interestingly enough, I have got a real life friend who does this for a living. And I don't just mean he drives trains for a living. I mean, he drives these trains for a living and he goes into Liverpool Street, but he doesn't come down this branch. He goes down the other branch. Remember I told you at Liverpool Street when we looked at that, the uh, the platforms one to approximately eight go off towards Harlow and uh, nine to is it 15 or 16, they tend to come up towards Chelmsford and, and out into the east. So, press Q. Uh, they, one to, one to eight will essentially go more north and nine to 15, 16 go east out into Essex. Uh, he actually does the northern line. He goes through Harlow uh, and that direction and Cambridge. That's his run. But he does that every day. And now that I've actually bought this train, uh, which I assume is reasonably accurate, press Q, good grief, um, I'm going to have a word with him and say, dude, is it really like that? Do you have to really put the pantograph up and you have to reset it? And I need to slow down. 1.6 miles away. And it's closing in very quickly, which it tends to do when you go at 100 miles an hour. So this is, in, I assume, in miles per hour because we're in Britain. And when I was driving the ICE, not the ICE, the ICE, I got told off for that. The, the, 100, the 200 mile an hour electric train. Um, that was in kilometers per hour, but this, I assume, is in miles per hour, and miles. I assume it's been localized properly. I've probably braked a bit too early. I could probably have done this a bit quicker. Um, but again, I'm not used to the task list. What's it saying? 9.17. ETA is 9.20, so we're not that far away. I'm going to be late, basically. I need to make up the time. Oh, that's cool. When you press F1 and it says 0.75 miles away up there. Don't forget you can press F4, get rid of that completely, or just go F3 to get like the mini overlay. Um, that's another thing you can do. At the moment I'm running it in kind of full noob mode. This is this is where I feel like I've braked about a half a mile too early. But I figure it's best to to get the too slowly than it is to totally overshoot the platform. Um, that could be wrong. I mean, maybe it is just best to go all guns blazing, get to half half a kilometre, half a mile, and then just hit the brakes and hope that you stop in time. Maybe that's a good tactic when you're late like me. My ETA time's been knocked out at the moment. I'm so late. I am, I'm two and a half, getting on for three minutes late. Instead of making up time, I think I'm actually making it worse. Well, here's the platform, right under a bridge. How good are the brakes? That's the question. No way! They're supposed to be dressed for the occasion. That's rubbish. That guy's got a t-shirt on. It's snowing, for God's sake, and he's walking around my... It's Essex. It is Essex. I'm, I am forgetting where we are. So I'm doing it, I'm doing it again, a braking too early. Yeah, in Essex, people do that, to be fair. Oh, she looks very chic. Uh, wow, this is a long platform. Okay, I'm going to start braking now. There we go. Let's hit the brakes. Stop. Press T. Should we go to neutral? Are we meant to do that at this point? Now, if I have a look, that's the back of the... Is that the back? That's the wrong end of the train, isn't it? Uh, how do we go carriages? Um, Uh-oh. Um, There's the outside view. Inside... Ooh! There's nobody in! Hey! You guys should be out here. You be in here. I shouldn't be in there. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, that's the key I was after. I was trying to see if my lights were on. Put my lights on. Hey! Right, it's time to move it forward. Release the brakes. We've got a 100 mile an hour speed limit, which basically means I'm going to punt it all the way out to 5. 
We're not moving. Why are we not moving? What have I not done? Do I have to reset? Oh my god, that's gonna... If that does it now... It is as well. Right, so basically... If you look at this, this is opposite to this. This full forward is actually back there. So what basically the driver has to do is pull it all the way back to go faster. That's the neutral position in the middle. And then push it forward for his emergency brake. So when he wants to brake, he just pushes it forward. Which is opposite to the way this one goes. But it seems I have to reset the brake before it let me move. Or do I have to reset the brake because I accidentally changed carriage again? I went to the opposite end of the train. I don't know. Anyway, there's me. There's the sun. Let's have a look around. Oh, we've got a digger and some vans by the look of it and a truck. I'm hoping that when we get in towards... Once I get to Chelmsford, right, I will... I have a very, very good idea about what the scenery looks like between Chelmsford and Liverpool Street, but at the moment with this, um, I don't know what the scenery is meant to look like at all. So, ooh. You can zoom <laughs> That's me, apparently. I seem to have a very smiley, stern face. I look like a cardboard cutout. Um, I should put the control back because I don't know what speed I'm doing. So, oh, there's a road. Now that could be the A12. The A12 runs roughly the same train line. That is almost certainly the A12. And you'll see that a few times, I think. Oh. I don't know what that alarm's for, but I pressed Q to clear it. It could mean bad things. Now, here's something I don't understand. I am full out accelerating, and I'm only doing 50. My brakes are still on. I think I've... I think I've pressed a key, which has enabled some braking, and I need to clear it. Uh, quickly looking at my keyboard controls. Uh, L? What does L do? This is bad. This is, this is really bad. I, I've got some braking going on here from a key I think I've pressed. Uh, J, small ejector. I don't think we want to do ejector. Locomotive brake is that. Which I don't think there is a locomotive brake. Train brake is that. There's no train brake. Okay. I am just going to stop and reset and hope that that fixes it because quite honestly I think I've mashed a button. Which has put braking pressure on. Now, when I go to zero, that bar here is the one I'm on about. That should go to nothing. Brake cylinder pressure. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. We're not moving again. This is the weirdest train ever. Reset that. What does that one do? Reset the brake. Put it in forward. And see if we can get any speed up. Because we're late. And quite frankly, if we can't pull 100 miles an hour, we're going to be really, really late. And I don't know what happened though, I'll be honest with you. I can only imagine that when I was pressing buttons to change the camera view, I've hit something. But I can't for the life of me look at these keyboard controls. I can't see what I've done. Press Q. Ah, now the brake pressure's gone completely now. Wow, what was that? Does anybody know? If you know the answer to that, can you let me know? Because I... It can't be the handbrake. This icon is displayed in the coupling view. No, it's not the handbrake. Oh, we're coming up to a platform. How late are we now? It's supposed to be at 9.22, ETA 9.28. We're getting worse. <laughs> getting really bad at this. ETA for London Liverpool Street, 12pm. 
Right, sod it. I'm going to go a bit more aggressive into this platform. Which could end up in tears. It can end up with me flying right past it. I've got a kilometre. I'm going to start breaking about half a kilometre, I think. Seventy miles an hour. Got to keep an eye on the signals, by the way, because. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna start braking. Here we go. This is an experiment that could go badly wrong. Sixty percent braking. Let's ease off because it feels like we're getting there. This doesn't look so bad, actually. Fifty percent braking. Roughly. Which is, even now, feels a bit too heavy. These brakes are good. Is that EC stopped or is he coming this way? Should we toot him? I think we should toot him. You know, like, truck drivers often flash the lights. <laughs> I think we're supposed to use the horn when we go high speed through a platform, which we've not managed to do yet. Oh, yeah, look, it's another platform. It must be an Essex thing. Look, a platform elevated up from the road. It must be an Essex thing. Okay, people. I I, I do apologise. Look, I'm sorry we're late, okay? We had some problems with the train. Um, It's a bit of a weird train, this one. I'm just used to it, and I've not been trained on it. Are we actually in the platform? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. He expected me... Uh, you get this on commuter days, actually. All the commuters go up here. And then instead of it being an 8-carriage train, or a 12-carriage train, as they expect, which would obviously leave the front down there, because a 12-carriage train has to use the whole length of the platform, instead of a 12, you turn up in an 8. And all the guys that went down to the front here, thinking that's where the front would be, get really pissed, because you have to walk back here. And by that point, everybody's got in and got the seats. It's politics. It, it's It's... Train commuting politics. I, I know all about it. It's what happens. Right. I don't want to not set off this time, so I'm going to release the brakes. Do the releasey thing, and then... Hope... That we get going. And we're going to go straight out to 100 miles an hour. We're going to gun it. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you not moving? I don't understand. What have I not done this time? This is the craziest thing. Do I just... There you go. Now it, now it moves. I don't get it. Nice shirt, mate. Nice shirt. Was that a fight down there? Did you see that? Look at it. There's like a thousand passengers just spawned there or something. And they all had a big fight. So the driver basically sits at the front here, and then it roughly going off, off the real world, you have one of these pantographs every four carriages. So there should be another one down that end. And if I could remember how we move along, uh, along the carriages, is it that way? Oh, I thought it was just the, the square bracket keys to move between carriages. Let me have a look. Control plus equals and control minus. Move back to previous cab. Oh, might clear that alarm. Actually, should we go inside? Let's go inside. Is there anybody in here? There's nobody in here. This one is the most unpopular carriage. Can we move along? We can move along the main carriages. Like the driver's position, but that's about it. Now we're picking up speed. This is good. This is good. Level crossing. You get plenty of those things on uh, on this line. Trust me. 99. I'm going to slow it down. Slow it down. I don't want to get booked for speeding as well. Maybe if we just keep it on P1. Now then, let's have a look at this thing. It's such a quiet train, isn't it? And then from the outside, actually, if we if we go outside, it's sound the horn. It's accurate. 
It's accurate. When he's coming towards you. Oh, shit. Did I just see a red signal? I swore I just saw a red signal. But what I did see is Whittam. I'm too busy looking at the scenery. We'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm only doing 60 when we've got half a kilometre to slow down. It's good. But yeah, when I jumped back in from the outside after messing around with the horn, I thought I saw a red signal. This is good. Level crossing. Now then, does Whittam look like this? This looks very... This looks quite busy for Whittam. Whittam's a very small town. It's a really weird pronunciation, Whittam. It's, um... You'd think it's pronounced Witham. W-I-T-H-A-M. But it's not. For some reason, it's pronounced Whittam. Go figure. Well, that's local dialect. Oh, look at the vans. Three of them lined up. Yeah, this could be Whittam. I think we should probably think about braking. What do you think? Wow, these brakes are so good. I reckon I can get quite aggressive with this. Yeah, now Whittam is... Actually, Whittam does look like this. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how I know that. Alright, we're going to break here. Open the doors. On you get, love. Don't stand outside. It's quite cold outside. Um, I'll tell you why. Because once I slept past Chelmsford on the train... Came up and got off at Whittam here and had to get, wait for a train to go back to Chelmsford. I overshot. It's the one and only time that I've ever... Because I normally fall asleep when I commute on trains. And that was the one and only time I've ever managed to sleep past Chelmsford. I've been close before. I mean, literally where the doors are closing and I've jumped off at Chelmsford. But once, I screwed up. And I ended up in Whittam. Right, this is where we're going to have fun and games again, isn't it? 